The Countess Automated Cell Counter is designed to accurately assess cell count and viability and provide information about cell size, all in just 30 seconds. Based on a standard TriPan Blue assay and requiring no more sample than needed for a hemocytometer, the Countess Automated Cell Counter is compatible with a wide variety of eukaryotic cells. Its automated procedure decreases the human error associated with traditional hemocytometer-based counting. The Compact Countess instrument features an intuitive user interface with options to save and print your data. Disposable cell counting chamber slides, each with two enclosed sample chambers, allow analysis of two different samples or duplicate analysis of the same sample with no cleanup required. In this video, we will show the steps of a typical Countess instrument workflow, as well as explore some of the other features this compact instrument offers. Find a nice, flat, dry bench space that is free from vibration. Plug the Countess instrument into a nearby electrical outlet and turn the instrument on. It takes about 24 seconds to warm up, then you're ready to go. Prepare your cells as you would for hemocytometer counting. Trypsinize or otherwise detach adherent cell lines and mix the cell suspension to minimize clumping of the cells. Mix your cell suspension one-to-one -one with the 0.4% TriPan Blue solution provided with the Countess instrument. For instance, mix 10 microliters of your cell suspension with 10 microliters of TriPan Blue. Ensure the mixture is mixed thoroughly by gently pipetting up and down. Pipette 10 microliters of the stained cells into the half-moon-shaped chamber port, marked A or B, in the Countess cell counting chamber slide. You may load one or both chambers. Insert the chamber slide into the instrument, sample side first, until you hear a soft click. The display is now showing a live image of your cell sample. Press the zoom button and use the large focus knob to adjust the image for analysis, such that live cells have bright centers and dark edges, and dead cells have uniform blue color throughout the cell with no bright centers. Use the grid to navigate the slide and check the image in several fields. It's not necessary for the cells to be perfectly in focus. It's more important to adjust the image so that the instrument can distinguish between live and dead cells in the same way that you would distinguish these cells using a hemocytometer and a microscope. Live cells should exhibit a bright center and dark edges, while dead cells show a uniform blue color. Note the difference in this incorrectly adjusted image. In this image, live cells have bright centers and dark edges. But dead cells also have centers that are brighter than the edges and may therefore be counted as live cells. In this image, the dead cells are a uniform blue. However, the live cells also appear uniform and do not have distinct bright centers and may not be correctly counted. This image is correctly adjusted. Live cells have bright centers and dark edges. This image is incorrectly adjusted. Live cells do not have distinct bright centers. Correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect. Once the image is correctly adjusted, you may lock the focusing using the focus lock knob. Press the count cells button to obtain your results. Press more data to see data details as well as a graphical representation of cell size. To read the second chamber, remove the slide turn it around and reinsert it, sample side first, into the instrument slide port. Then repeat the steps just described. You may dispose of the entire slide in biohazard waste. The Countess instrument memory holds one set of data. To save your data, insert a USB drive into the USB port on the front of the instrument. Then press Save. Name your data set using the touchscreen keyboard, the date and timestamp button, or both. Press Save again. For more information, visit www.invitrogen.com forward slash Countess.